Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we're ranking the 10 Thomas the Hitman Hearns best knockouts. Number 10. Thomas Hearns vs Fred Hutchings. On September 15, 1984, defending WBC and the ring light middleweight titles Hearns beat Fred Hutchings by TKO at 2.56 in round 3 of 15. Number 9. Thomas Hearns vs. Luis Ramera. On December 6, 1980, defending WBA welterweight title Hearns beat Luis Ramera by knockout at 2.01 in round 6 of 15. A little bit more clowning by Tommy Hearns. And he whips home that hard right hand, but he misses the follow-up punches and then lands two more right hands. Hearns a little over-anxious. One minute to go in the round. He gets so mad at getting knocked down. A beautiful counter punch by Hearn. He must have heard. He was moving. He was hurt again, Pinero was. He's already, uh, he's proved them, so uh, let's see how far he can go. Hearns missing the follow-up shot, however, making Hearns back up. Hearns is fighting savagely, and there goes Pinera down. He's taking some tremendous body shots right now. Tommy Hearns is really digging. That body shot did it. And this may be it. He went down from a body shot. Four, six, seven, eight, nine. No, well, the referee is stopping it. Hold it, fellas. Hold it. The referee is stopping it. Number eight. Thomas Hearns versus Andrew Maynard. On November 6, 1993, Hearns beat Andrew Maynard by TKO at 2.34 in round one of ten. Round stoppage by Marcus. Schedule it for 10. Hearns now a cruiserweight. He was the first welterweight to win a light heavyweight title when he stopped Dennis Andres at 87 and now here he is at 180 pounds. And, and there's no jiggle. There's never been any jiggle on this man even when he was a welterweight. He's always been thin and he wears it well. Hearns is just trying to establish the reins to get the jab out there and then drop that right hand on Maynard. Hearns landing a right hand. He's hurt already, Bruce. Hearns with the big right hand and smiling Drew goes backwards. Hearns has had a couple of operations on that hand. He's just showing some fierce power with the right hand again. That's what he's been known for for years. just not in this fight. He has nothing to keep Hearns off him. The hitman is just down here in the first. Missing wildly, though. 
Burns has 29 knockouts in his career inside of five rounds. 29 of 40. He does work quick when he's on. He's already wobbled this guy twice. It's funny, Maynard landed an overhand right and nothing happened to Thomas Hearns. Hearns usually wobbles when he gets hit. But... And that is a slip. Hearns, which forced it. Still a minute 20 to go in round one. Hearns has already had his opponent Maynard in trouble. Hearns landing upstairs and downstairs. Smiling Drew Maynard is just leaning. Where is his head? He's not smiling anymore, Bruce. Hearns chasing Maynard again. Tommy Hearns looks pretty good for a guy who had reconstructed surgery over the last 15 months. A couple of times. Maynard goes tumbling. Hitman to the neutral corner. First knockdown. Drew has that look that he doesn't want to continue. He doesn't want to be here anymore. And that is it. Thomas Hearns. Number 7. Thomas Hearns versus Stan Ward. On January 29, 1994. Hearns beat Dan Ward by TKO at 209 in round one of 12 and one vacant 10 ABF cruiserweight title. This is round one. The difference in size immediately apparent. Ward, very small, and then this magnificent structure. Hearns, who looks like, if you dreamt what a fighter would look like, it would look like Tommy Hearns, face and body. Tommy's got the height, he's got the reach, he's got a terrific body, especially one that shifts weight, uses leverage with all the fights he has, especially when he has a height on someone. And I don't suspect that this fight is going to go too long before Ward gets his chin tested. Tommy Hearns back wearing the crunk colors. Watch Funny out, story. Watch ahead, Ward. Watch ahead. At the press conference, Dan Ward got up and said, I want to thank Don King, but I'm upset about one thing. Tommy Hearns talks about the fight, but never mentions my name. Tommy barked out, ahead, what Ward. is your Watch name? He honestly did not know Ward's name. Well, after that many fights, it's understandable. Here's Dan Ward opening up a little bit. Well, Ward's trying to get his attention so he may not forget his name, but we'll see. Tommy's a ring-wise, experienced guy. And he, you know, he's going to brush, brush those punches off. He's going to wait, but he's going to attack. And when he gets offense under his, in his mind, you watch out. Hearns has won so many titles. I asked him, you ever lose track of the titles you've won? He said, not really, but I lose track of the fighters I've fought. Since 1977, when a tall, skinny kid first turned pro, Tommy Hearns. Let me tell you, before that, he was an amateur. He was considered a magnificent boxer, not a puncher particularly. And that's what he brought to the pros, magnificent boxing and added punching. Look at that punching to the body. Ward's in a little bit of trouble now, too. He got hurt. He got rocked by an inside shot. There's that right hand. Thunderous right hand by Tommy Hearns, looking to air it out and end this thing early. Tommy taking his time like the true pro he is, castigating the body, just waiting for that headshot to be open. There it is. And down goes Ward. He has no idea where he is. Number 6. Thomas Hearns vs. On Hellas Pada. On March 2, 1980. Hearns beat on Hellas Pada by TKO at 0-47 in round 4 of 12 and 1 vacant USBA welterweight title. Oh, an excellent. Doubled on the left, came in with a right. We knocked down rule is in effect. Staying against the ropes is the key to destruction when you're fighting Tommy Hearns. Spada trying to cover. Hearns fighting much more warily, although there. That's where he really punishes a Spada. When a Spada lets himself be pinned on her out in ring center. Hearns hurt a Spada with a sharp right. And now Hearns is really peppering him. And a Spada unable to cover effectively. This is only third round action. And it seemed inevitable from the very first round time. But there is little movement to a Spada. There has been little from the start of the fight. And look at Hearns Pepper. 
Larry Rosadilla, the official, must keep a close eye on him. It's the second knockdown. It's Boxing Association version of the welterweight title. Another rump title, another rump organization. And look at that right. Immediately, Espada went down. That's it. Rosadilla did the right thing. Number 5. Thomas Hearns vs. Juan Roldan. On October 29, 1987, Hearns beat Juan Roldan by knockout at 2.01 in round 4 of 12 and won vacant WBC middleweight title. The right thing to do. A furious start, neither fighter landed a serious punch. That right hand, the first, and it sends down Roldan. Side to side, another right hand by Hearns. Right hand again. That's what Tommy's got to do. The bell. He has to get up. Rolled in, went down at the bell. He had it on this guy. He's side to side. Rolled in is dropping his left hand. That's why he's getting caught with that right hand. Uh, he was a little off balance when he yeah. got hit with that one. Flight over to the side. At least the time he's going, which is good, is he's, he's bending down. Nice. Number 4. Thomas Hearns vs. Stannis Andres. On March 7, 1987, Hearns beat defending WBC light heavyweight title Dennis Andres by TKO at 126 in round 10 of 12. Fast, we might have expected. Boxing a little bit more. There's a good right hand. Right hand. Beat to win this title. Staggered by the right hand. There's a right hand! Andres Gutsy says he wants to continue. Body shot. So that count was about five seconds late. There's the third knockdown, and I think. No, no three knockdown rule. Herrera should it's stop those fights. is absolutely brutal. Andres is just being held up by his guts and his pride and his determination, but he's taking unnecessary punishment. Tommy cannot line him up to get him, hit him with the finishing punch. That is the fourth knockdown of the round. Is saying that that was not a knockdown. That's that unbelievable. That is just total incompetency. A fighter went down from a punch. This is a grossly incompetent job of refereeing by Isaac Herrera of Panama. See the clock, 30 seconds to go. Oh! Six. Oh, this is brutal. Just Andre's unable to stand up. Initially by referee Isaac Herrera, who made a highly questionable decision in allowing the fight to go on. Now Hearns attempts to finish. Thomas. And nine of 12 scheduled. Right hand. Good fight, well, in gamblers' parlance, it's been anything but a push. Here we go again. And again, that's just exhaustion. There's no punch. He's looking for a count. <laughs> right. Take. Hey. Herrera is calling hey, that look, a knockdown. He's stopping for the, the fight. fight. Number three. Thomas Hearns versus Jose Cuevas. On August 2nd, 1980. Hearns beat defending WBA welterweight title Jose Cuevas by TKO at 2.39 in round 2 of 15. Big looping left hook, young man, 21 years old. He has almost a six-inch reach of it. Look at him loading up the right hand. The hitman, they call him the Motor City Coach. Most people think so. It could be terrific. Look at these shots. Tommy loads up to the body. Big, big advantage here for Hearns in the right front. Look at these shots. 
Everything on target. Bangs for the body. Back up stairs. Pepito is just to try to do something all over the world. Thomas Hearns and White. Pepito Cuevas and Green taking some punishment. Look at these shots. About seven unanswered punches. Referee Chris Adulo looks in to make sure that he's in the fence for Pepito Cuevas. He's a great and a terrific champion. And how long here? Boom! There it is there, but it's all oh, wow! He caught him again! Shots like that. Not only the right hand, but look at these left hands. Cuevas has got a lot of problems with Thomas. All oh, right hand gets broke. Big right hand again. Look at this shot. He's ready to go. He's got him in big trouble. Chris Adulo having a good look. Bobby not very patient here. He's throwing wild shots, but a lot landing. Cuevas trying to answer all of his. A short. Thomas ducks underneath shots. Look at how he continues to make Cuevas miss, even while he's that big right now. Oh, the right hand hit. Number 2. Thomas Hearns vs. James Schuler. On March 10, 1986, Hearns beat defending NABF middleweight title James Schuler by TKO at 113 in round 1 of 12. Tommy Hearns with a new short haircut, taking a little weight off the top of his head. A little less protection for that. There's that piston like jab of Hearns. And Schuler has an excellent jab as well. Jim, you have two well-skilled fighters here. They were two of our best amateurs in the, probably in the last 10 years. You're going to see a good technical bout. Solid shots to the body by Thomas Hearns, but Schuler stayed right there with him. Left hook back from Schuler. Another ripping left hook to the body. And a right. That moved Schuler backwards. A straight right by her. Not only moving back, but Sam Obama did Down he goes. Another one. A right hand by her. He will not get up. Well, now we know that Tommy Hearns can hit middleweights and knock them out. Number one. Thomas Hearns versus Roberto Duran. On June 15, 1984, defending WBC in the ring light middleweight titles Hearns beat Roberto Duran by TKO at 105 in round 2 of 12. 12 round title bout. Tim, Tommy Hearns should be working that jab overtime. Instead he's looking to land the big bomb and he landed a good right, right hand. A good right hand to the ear of Duran that sent him back into the rope. In the corner of the left eyes of Roberto Duran. And Roberto Duran up at will. Solid right and down goes Duran. And he would burn round number one. He's bothered by that cut eye, Tim. He's very seldom ever he's cut in a fight. Hearn lands a combination and Duran waving at him to come at him, but meanwhile taking punishment. Down he goes again. Tina, he looks still a little wobbly to me, Jim. Yeah. He's still straight up in the air, Tim. You have to fight it like Tommy Hearn. Good left and a right behind it by the champion. Duran in trouble again in his corner. Has not hung on at all. Now, finally, he grabbed her. Roberto. He's wobbly, Jim. His legs are still wobbly. He's trying to cover up. Another solid right hand by Thomas Hearns in a combination. The referee Padilla watching. There, he's up in the air again. Duran just fighting on instinct, O'Gell. He's just hanging a big that's right it. hand. That's, that's it, Jim. A huge right hand. You fall forward. The fight's over, Jim. A huge right hand by Thomas Hearns. Right to the cheekbone. Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.